Hi everyone, a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making donuts, so hit that thumbs up down the bottom there if you love donuts. Guys, I'm gonna show you how to make them in the style of Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme, so we're gonna cover them at the end. Let's get on and make them right now. So I've just got 200 mils, that's about seven fluid ounces of milk in a jug here, and I'm adding a teaspoon of sugar, and then we're just gonna pop that in the microwave for 30 seconds just to warm it through. Now the milk should be warm, but you should still be able to put your finger in there without burning it. I'm just going to take a teaspoon and a half of dried yeast, give that a little mix through, and we're just gonna set that aside for 15, 20 minutes just to let the yeast bubble. So I'm just sifting in three cups of flour, that's about a pound of flour into a mixing bowl. And into the flour, I'm just gonna put about 60 grams, that's about two ounces of sugar. A teaspoon of salt. And I'm using fresh nutmeg. I'm using about half a teaspoon of fresh nutmeg. Now, nutmeg is one of those flavors that make donuts taste really great, so don't miss it out if you can. Now, of course, you don't have to use fresh nutmeg. Let's just sort of mix that through with a whisk to incorporate the sugar and flour together. So we've got our dry ingredients here. I'm just going to break an egg into the flour. And you can see now that our milk and yeast is frothed up nicely. I'm just going to pop that in the flour as well. And I've got a couple of ounces, that's about 60 grams of melted butter in there as well. And now just take a fork and start to mix that through with the dry ingredients. As that starts to come together, I can just draw that off of the fork and then get my hands in there and start to pull this dough together. And eventually you'll have this fairly sticky dough which we can take out onto our work counter and just start to knead just a little bit. It doesn't need that much. It should be quite a sticky dough. So a quick five minute of kneading like this just to get a silky texture. And you can adjust the milk levels to get this beautiful sort of elastic donut dough here. Then I'm just going to lightly oil my original bowl and take our donut dough here, just give it a little turn over to coat it in oil. So we're just going to cover that over now, keep the air out of it, and leave it aside for about half an hour or until it's at least started to plump up a little bit. So there, our dough now has doubled in size. I'm just going to take it out of the bowl. And we just want to lightly flour a surface and put the dough down onto our counter. Then using a rolling pin, we we'll just start to roll our dough out and we want to get it about half an inch thick. Now, when it's rolled out, you want to get a cutter and we can use a glass. You can just take a glass and cut the donuts out with a glass. And then you can use pretty much anything from around the kitchen just to cut the circle out from the middle. I'm just using the top of a piping nozzle there. Now, these are another great little tool. This is actually a purpose-made donut cutter. So if you've got one of these, <laughs> which I have, then you're lucky and it does it all in one hit. And don't forget to keep the middles because donut middles are a favorite for the kids. I've got a baking tray here with some baking paper on it and I'm just gonna sprinkle over some flour. You can use plain flour or corn flour just to stop the donuts from sticking. And then we're just going to lay our donuts here on the baking paper. And then I'm just covering the donuts over with some cling wrap, which I've covered in oil so the donuts don't stick to them. And we're just gonna put those aside now for another 30 minutes or so, just to let them rise a little bit. Now you don't need very deep oil to fry donuts in. So I've got a, a shallow pan here with about an inch of oil in, and you've got to bring that up to a temperature of 190 degrees. That's about 370 Fahrenheit. So now we know our oil's up to temperature, we can start dropping our donuts in. Now I'm gonna put three or four at a time, just drop them gently into the oil. And they will sink to the bottom at first, and then they'll float to the top, and I'm gonna use some chopsticks just to turn them over when they're cooked. So you see they've floated to the top now. They've puffed up nicely. Now you could use a, a slotted spoon to turn these over, or a combination of a slotted spoon and the chopsticks. Now turn that over, you see it's beautiful and brown on the other side now. You just turn these over and let the other sides cook. It literally just takes barely a minute for these donuts to cook through. Then I'm just going to lift those out and pop them onto some paper napkins to drip dry. And let's not forget our little donut middles. 
just pop these in, probably all of these together will be fine. And you'll see these puff up to a beautiful little round balls and they quite often turn them south. Okay guys, while the donut holes, the little donut centers are still hot, I'm gonna put them in some cinnamon sugar. Now some of the donuts I'm gonna decorate, but these ones I'm just going to pop them in some cinnamon sugar while they're nice and hot and just get them coated over. And then we can just take these out, pop them on a plate and they should be eaten really straight away while they're nice and hot. And of course, you can do the same thing with the full donuts as well. If you just want sugar donuts, just pop them into your, your cinnamon sugar. And then you can pop those with the little donut centers. Now while our donuts are cooling on the side, I've got some powdered sugar here and you really do just want to put a, a trickle, barely a tablespoon of water in there at a time and just start mixing that through until you get a nice thick paste. So you see I've got a lovely thick paste. Now sugar is quite sweet on its own so I'm just going to add a little drop of vanilla extract in there and then mix that through just to give it a little bit of flavoring. Now you could add any flavor to here, strawberry flavorings or mango flavorings. So I'm just gonna take one of these donuts now and put it down into the sugar, push it in and then <laughs> lever it out and you'll see there that we've got a lovely coating of icing sugar on top there. And then I'm gonna take this and put it into these hundreds of thousands or sprinkles and uh, there you have it guys, it's a beautiful pink one. Another great idea is to dip them in the sugar, pull it out like that, and then take them into sort of, sort of dried nuts. That's a favorite way of doing mine. And another great idea, guys, take a, a teaspoon of cocoa and just pop that in there if you want a chocolate cup coating on your donuts. So without the need for any further washing up, you can just carry on dipping your donuts in there. Now we've got a lovely chocolate coating on there. And I'm gonna pop these in some yellow sprinkles. They look cool. There they are guys, there are my donuts looking beautiful, the colors, and there are my donut centers there. And of course, I'm gonna have to try one of these for you. Thank you very much for joining me guys. Today, it's been a lot of fun. This won't be doing anything for my waistline. Give it a try. Oh, delicious. You can't beat homemade donuts. I hope you had some fun watching me make donuts today, guys, and I hope you try this at home. Please, don't forget, if you love these donuts, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you next time on Steve's Kitchen. Be good. I really enjoyed making these donuts, guys. My favorite, by the way, are these just plain cinnamon donuts. I love them, sugar donuts and jam-filled donuts, which I'll save for another video. So be good, subscribe to the channel, links to the side here. I'll see you next time.